All right, in this video, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and show you how to import the snapshot if you already had your high level account. Um, it's real simple. Um, you know, just make sure that your, your high level account that you're logged in and it's open. Um, you can literally just right click this and just open it in a new tab. So <clears throat> you'll go ahead and do this. Um, big kind of caution on any of you guys that are doing this, make sure that you're on app.gohighlevel.com. Some of you may have already added your custom domain and you may have it as like app or crm.mywebsite. If you've already added that, that custom domain, um, high level, um, you have to go log into here to pull in snapshots. Um, it's just some weird setting that they've had. So even if you have your custom domain, you can still log in to app.highlevel, gohighlevel.com. And that's what you want to do. So the object here is that you need to import the snapshot into your agency account first, okay? If you don't have an agency account, you're not gonna be able to import it in. So if, you, if you're underneath somebody else's account, you're not gonna be able to get it, all right? So uh, in that case, you know, go ahead and go click it and just sign up for uh, a new trial. Um, and um, you can create your own, you know, account to get it going. But so what I'm doing is I'm importing it, all right? So now I'm importing the snapshot and now it's, it's in your agency account. It lives in the agency account. However, we have to go add it to whatever account we want. So um, when we say an account, so now you have a lot of accounts, okay? My recommendation is that if you are new, which most likely you are because you're taking this, go and create a new sub account just dedicated to this. And the reason why is because it's gonna pull in triggers, campaigns, pipelines, um, all sorts of stuff. And if you pull it into an already created account, you may get confused. So um, I highly recommend that you do that. All right, I just had to take a brief pause there for a moment. And so now what we did is we imported the snapshot into the uh, agency account, right? So now we have to actually add the snapshot to a sub account. So you'll see that the, the snapshot is here. It's called the, the bootcamp, uh, the one snapshot away, the bootcamp challenge. And so my recommendation is that you create a, another sub, uh, sub account. And so for example, um, over here, what we went and did is we went and created a test account. Okay, so this is just like a test account where you can learn, all right? Um, and so what you wanna do is we wanna come over here, click on view details, and then you'll go to actions and load snapshot. And so you can come over here now and you can find the bootcamp. Uh, pro tip, ninja hack, ninja tip, whatever. You can actually go and import all of the standard ones that um, High Level has given you and you don't have to import everything. So if there's something that you like, again, it's just like a little bit of a workaround or a hack, just so you know, when you go to import snapshots, they're going to allow you um, to pick what you want. So again, just a hack that if you ever wanna just import certain things, you can do that. You don't have to import everything. So with this, this idea, go ahead and select all and hit proceed. And so you'll see over here that there's no conflicts. If you're doing this and you've imported into an account that already exists and it already has some stuff in it like campaigns or funnels or stuff like that, it'll tell you, it's like, hey, you have two email fields. Do you wanna keep two email fields? Just put no, skip. Uh, you have two phone fields, that's all, just skip. But other than that, you just go ahead and you'll hit proceed and then this injects right into your account. So <clears throat> let's go over here and we'll take a look. So it usually just takes about a second. It's really not that long. Um, I've never had to really wait that long, but let's just go take a look at our test account. And you know, the first thing we'll do is we'll pop over here just to go see that you know, everything's been popped in and sure enough, like, so here's all your campaigns and everything has been uh, ordered. Okay, so um, this all corresponds to the modules in the bootcamp, okay? Um, so the, the, the first one that you'll be doing is the Facebook ads domination, which everything is already done for you. 
you just need to go ahead and connect your um, your Twilio number in your account, um, connect your um, Stripe account, and whatever mailing you're going to use, whether it's Mailgun or your SMTP. Um, SMTP has become a lot easier uh, since before when I built this. I originally built this bootcamp um, well over a year ago. And again, the idea here is to teach you the basics so that you understand the real, the four components, the major components of high level. Once you understand these four components, you're pretty good. And let me go ahead and just do that. So the four components is obviously, number one is getting people into your system. So understanding forms, right? So you understand getting people in your system. You don't want to go add one by one. So forms, you can either go put them on a third party website, like a nice WordPress website or something like that. Uh, it doesn't matter which Squarespace, or you can actually put them on the funnels, the funnel pages inside of high level. And so that's kind of the most common way. So kind of forms in the funnels are kind of grouped together. Once you get them into your system, you're going to need to have to like give them directions. Like what should they do? What do you want to do with this, this information? And that's what triggers are for. So you'll understand triggers. So triggers are basically your managers. Those are going to be like telling people and giving directions. And then from there, once you give a direction, you need the workers. And the workers are essentially your campaigns, which are right in here, which will actually go and do stuff. Like they'll actually send emails and stuff like that. I mean, there's a couple of little modif modifications and stuff, but that's the overall gist of it. Um, and then obviously the one big one is you want to actually be able to have a command center and see everything. And that's really where your opportunities are or your pipelines. And so with this, we injected in a, uh, a leads pipeline. So um, you'll also see over here under the funnels and websites, we went and added your, your funnels. So we've got the Facebook ads domination funnel, the digital nomad funnel, the standard free discovery call that comes. And I also put in a bonus in here that I don't talk about, um, which is really cool, is these are other ways for you to go ahead and generate leads for your business. So literally we have website traffic. Um, this is a lead, a lead stuff here, digital marketing. And so these, these little things, of course, that doesn't show, but give it a second. And these are really awesome pages. You know, these are some of, these is literally, if, if you don't know my agency, like I have a massive agency called Small Business Deacon. You can go Google it, go look it up and see who my clients are. These are my actual top performing lead magnets. And I gave them all to you and I built out the pages for you. So they're all in here. So these are fun little things you can do. Um, this all hooks up. And again, you'll see this inside of your account. You know, all this little different stuff is hooked over to your forms. Um, I just want to point out a couple of things. S newbies uh, are like, oh, I don't understand um, how to add a domain. So once you add your domain, right? So we'll come back here. Is once you add a domain, which you got over here, once you go through this and add this domain, okay, you just literally, I highly recommend just use an A record. Just point an A record to your, uh, just point an A record over to High Level's IP address, which is this. There's a good video right here um, to do this. Um, pro tip: If you guys are looking to use this for clients and you don't want them to know it's High Level, then um, just Google in the Facebook group, the main group. People have CSS for this. You just have to hide this because if you go and click this video, um, it takes you over to High Level. <laughs> So that's just like pro tip. A lot of people don't realize that. And then it's going to blow your whole cover if you're lying your face off. <laughs> that's, you know, it's your software. So anyways, just so you guys know. Um, but anyways, you're just going to come over here. And, and the most um, general idea is you're going to do something like, um, like me. I like to use learn. That's like, so learn. That's the uh, learn.mywebsite.com. And you would go over and put an A record for learn, okay? An A record and you point it at that IP address. And then that would do that. And then you could, you know, kind of get it all connected. Once you do that, it's gonna ask you, do you wanna associate this with a funnel? You do not have to do that if you don't want to. It's gonna pop up. Do you wanna associate it? If, um, if you do, then I recommend going through this program, just associate it to the Facebook ads domination funnel. So what does that mean? Okay, what does that mean? Once you get a domain added to your account and you can add multiple domains or multiple subdomains, okay? You can add as many as you want. All you've got to do is just go over once you have them added and you tell, you tell which funnel, like let's just say if we're going to do the Facebook ads domination, you would come over here and you're not going to be able to see it because we haven't added a domain, but over here, you would see a drop down of all the different domains that you've added. So in this program, I tell you to go ahead and put learn. So learn.mywebsite.com. And I went and hooked up the rest for you. What does that mean? Once you add that, 
it gives you the, the suffix. So this one's like Facebook ads domination. And then if you go over here, you'll see um, on the different steps of the funnels. So all these little different um, steps, you'll see all this little stuff is all made for you. I did this video offer page. It's all taken care of for you. It's right out of the box. So you won't have to do anything else for yourself. So um, hopefully that explains all this different stuff. And again, like I told you about these lead funnels, these lead funnels, again, they're all named accordingly. These are the, um, the, uh, the forms. So you'll see the forms over here, lead funnels. There's the form for that. Lead funnels, there's the form for that. There's the form for that. So there's all the forms. So everything's all created for you and you should be good to go. Um, by all means, if you have any questions, there is a, um, a support chat down here. Um, it's not super actively monitored, but it does um, get to me or my team. And then um, feel free to post in either Facebook group, depending on the one you're in, my one snapshot away private group or the actual um, high level agency panor. So thanks guys.